weekend littered with controversial VAR decisions in the Premier League. Now, West Ham were denied a clear goal in the last minute against Chelsea. Newcastle were denied a winner versus Palace. Mm. Um, some of these decisions as well were taking minutes and minutes and minutes. Oh, wow. And the question is, is it clear and obvious? And if it is, does it need to be taking three or four minutes to get to a decision when there is more than one of you looking at a screen? On the back of the Times this morning, you're going to see this. Referees, chiefs admit two huge VAR mistakes. They'll admit their mistakes, but there's not really much mm. that they can do in terms of the decisions mm. that have been made. That is set in stone now. Moving forward, you want it to get better, but that doesn't mean any uh, consolation, doesn't give any consolation to those fan bases that had to see their team being denied points. So uh, we are going to open the phone lines for you. 03717 Jamie, have you got a solution for the VAR problem? Get rid of it. Uh, just use it for offsides. I mean, because that's, you know, it's clear as day. You can't really argue with it, even though some of them are so <laughs> marginal. And still, you know, you'd say, oh, you know, couldn't you let that one go? But it's it's black and white with with offsides. The rest of it is just so subjective. I'm sick of it. I really am. You know, they go to VAR, they look at the screens. They've got seven screens. They slow it down. And they still get it wrong. I mean, the West Ham one. I feel I really felt for West Ham because they played really well against Chelsea, and that was an that was a disgrace that decision, an absolute disgrace. And the Newcastle one was just as bad. If anything is a foul on Willock, and they should have a penalty. Um, them two decisions are an absolute joke, and they're ruining the game. They're ruining it for good people going and watch, pay good money to go and watch football, and you know getting goals chalked off all over the park. It, it is ridiculous. Get rid of it. We don't need it. Referees make the decisions, live and die by them, and if it's offside, it's offside. The problem is, though, I understand what you're saying, get rid of it, it was fine before and things like that, but when we've gone back to games where we don't have VAR, I, I've heard it so many times, they go, oh, where's VAR? Why haven't we not got it? Does it get more right than wrong? Is it just the, is it the people at, that use it that we need to be get better? If you look at something, if you slow something, I mean, look, the Premier League is so fast-paced. It's getting faster and faster and faster every season. It's a contact sport. There's going to be moments in games where you go, oh, is it a foul? Is it a foul? And you some, you get the rubber to green. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. That was just down to the referees and having decent referees in the Premier League. Now they're all useless because they're relying on VAR. If you got rid of VAR and, took, and, and give the power back to the ref and say, look, ref the game, let things go, and we'll live and die by it. The the black and white situations, which is offside, you, 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 you use VAR for... But then the rest of it <clears throat> is down to, is the, down to the referee to make the decision and make the right one. I, I would say two things on it, and, and there's no way I'm going to sit here and, and, and defend referees. However, there's two things that should be noted. The, 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 the standard referees is not good enough. Simple as that. However, Jamie, the one thing I would say slightly in their defence is... From years ago, the game is a lot quicker. There's no doubt about it, it's a lot quicker. And probably more importantly, there's that many cameras at the game now. Every every decision they're making is getting scrutinised. That's just the way it is. So I, I'm not sure, actually. But so why have it then, Ali? Why no, have it? Because it's still subjective and we're still arguing about it. Jamie, you I, might I, as well I, argue about the ref just no, making a poor decision one I, week I, instead of having to watch VAR decisions from people who are not even there, who have got seven screens in front of them and still getting it wrong. Unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable. And now, I, I've got to be honest with you, I, I, I was for VAR. I thought it'd be a good thing. I thought anything, you know, that righted or wrong would be a good thing. But you've got no idea how much I'm against it now. It's spoiling it for the fans. They, they, they don't know when to celebrate. They don't know if they can celebrate. I, I, I just think it's a shambles, mate. I think the, the thing with the Premier League is if it is the best league in the world and the amount of money that's in the Premier League when you're seeing players move from team to team for £100 million, the money is there with the clubs. The money's there with the Premier League, right? With the TV rights, all that sort of stuff. So if you're getting top quality players and the best quality in the world in terms of football, but you can't match it with the best offici officiating in the world... What's going wrong there? Surely put more money into those. Go and get the best referees. Go and get the best VAR officials. Surely that's where you need to start. I, I don't think... I think it's too far gone now to go back. I don't think they're going to say, right, we've, we've put all this money into VAR and in, wow. into... But this is the problem. We're equipping, equipped in the... Um, stadiums with the right cameras and the right um, technology to use it. I don't think they're going to go back now. It's just that you've got to get the right people in to be able to use it properly. 03717 we've opened the phone lines for you. Ray is a West Ham fan. Good morning, Ray. I imagine that you've got plenty to say this morning. Morning, Ray. 
Morning, Ali, Jamie, Laura. Morning, Morning Ray. Ray. I, I can't believe I'm actually agreeing with O'Hara for a change. <laughs> That's such a weird world, isn't it? Oh. It is a weird world it's a weird, and some very weird decisions. And listen, I'm a West Ham fan through and through, Claret and Blue in me blood, but I'm also a football fan. And that, on Saturday, you've got two professional people. I, I actually think that if the ref give a goal then Stockley Park would have woke up because he was probably asleep for 90 minutes because he had yeah. nothing to do. And he'd have probably gone, have a look at that and overrule it mm-hmm. and give the goal. Because it was absolutely embarrassing for two professional people who have been trained up to do to be involved in VAR. I'm listening to Halsey this morning saying it won't be fixed overnight. What won't be fixed? Haven't they been trained to do anything? Hasn't it even started then? Mm-hmm. Offside, yeah, you can see offside decisions... 99% of them are right. Do you know, Sean... Should some... this, allow, should this allow that goal to to even look at decisions over Pars Lowe's Park, all the refs would have, or in the amateur football, any league in the country, that goal would have stood. The you... Newcastle won 50-50. Might have, they might have looked at it as a foul and, or whatever, but still a bad decision. Ray, I'm going to shake you, mate. You know the, the, the really concerning thing as well, on top of it, it'll be a double whammy. I'll bet you any money Big Moisey gets in trouble for opening his mouth and saying what everybody in the country thought. Well, they've already said they're not going to look into what he said. Well, that's good. It's, it, it, it's not... I mean, you know, West Ham were denied a point, not three points. It, we were denied a point. But that's, not, that's the issue of the football thing with the VAR. It's just not getting better. It's bought in to improve the game. It, fans didn't want them decisions overruled. Fans didn't want it bought into that. Blatant penalties. Even. If the ref gives a penalty and it's wrong, well, on you go with the game. You, you look at, I've looked at highlights this weekend of most championship games, League One, League Two goals and all the highlights. Mm. There's been good decisions and bad decisions, and we're not talking about that. Three years down the line, we're so, still talking about VAR and the non and the inconsistency of it. Mm-hmm. You watch next weekend. Every time a goalkeeper gets touched, the ball the goal's going to be disallowed now through that stupid incident. Mm-hmm. It, the lines were never flagged. The Chelsea players never complained. Mm-hmm. The ref gave a goal in the first place. Why is a clear and obvious area to overrule it? Yeah. Um, Ray, thank you very much for your call, mate. Yeah, Brilliant call, call there, Ray, with the clearest West Ham accent I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, Ray. Um, Ray, the West Ham. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.